if you could only hear these commercial break conversations. <laughs> you are in for a treat. Andrea Wolf with Organized Detroit is here to help us get started. We're trying to get organized for the new year. Uh, full disclosure, we are going to be working together in January. We have been talking about doing this for months. And you will find that getting rid of your things is a very personal, yep. very emotional process. I'm sure you've had many clients like me who think they're ready and they're just not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is it so hard? Because there is an emotional attachment to things. Yeah. You know, I talk with my clients all the time. In order for me, um, in order for my clients to get to where they want to be in their head, so that is a clear and organized space, mm -hmm. it always comes down to the purging. It doesn't have to do with the clear bins, it doesn't have to do with the labels, it always has to do with the purging. What do you mean by purging? So, for example, a closet. Yep. Okay. So if somebody has in mind that, you know, they have all these clothes mm -hmm. and they, I always talk about a hard purge. So yeah. the hard purge, it, does it fit? Yes. Um, is it in style? Yes. Was it an investment? Yes. Do you wear it? No. So it's one thing not to have a couple no's or maybe I'll wear it again like right. you and I were talking right. about. But when you have too many of those, that is what creates clutter. So it doesn't matter if it's a closet, if it's a kitchen, if it's a storage room. The purging is the root of all organizing. So we want to hear from you at home because what we're going to do in the new year is pick a few rooms, common areas in the house, your closet, your kitchen, maybe a spare bedroom, and you're gonna give us tips on how we can get through all this. So the first tip, roll it back for me just a little bit here. We wanna focus on a small area, something that you say can be completed in just a day, like not, a kitchen drawer, maybe a yeah, pajama drawer. Yeah, even not even in a day, in a little bit, like just, it, it could be a half hour. So my big thing about organizing, doing something on your own, is doing something where you have the motivation to keep going. Yeah. So if it's a junk drawer, if it's a sock drawer, if it's a pajama drawer, how about just the Tupperware, which is something that I had been talking about recently on my Instagram. Those things, when you just start one small task, mm -hmm. it and you finish it, yeah. it, you easily are motivated to like, okay, I'm gonna do the next drawer. Okay. But when you start with something too big, it's like you throw in the towel, you get overwhelmed, you're like, ugh, I can't finish this. And you don't have that motivation. Start small. Which is what was happening to me yes. over and over again. Uh, the hard purge, we talked a little bit about that. Yeah. You said, does it still fit? Uh, do you wear it? Is it in style? Was it an investment? If you can't answer yes to what, is it all of those questions or just well, some of those questions? There's always going to be a caveat, a like, you know, little asterisk attached yeah. to everything, but we can't have too many of those. Yeah. It's one thing to have a small amount of things that you don't wear, but you're not ready to get rid of. But when you have too many of those, I really encourage my clients and we'll put them in a pile and say, okay, you can't have so many of them. So I really do help people, um, especially when it's in a piece that was an investment, but they don't wear it. Yeah. And they know it was like a buyer's remorse. That's one thing that I'll actually really encourage people to get rid of because why do you need to be reminded of something that wasn't a good investment? I want to make sure we have time to get to uh, totally emptying out the space, but I want to stay there for a quick second because yeah. what is it about us and do you have other clients who feel like, yes, I'm ready to get rid of stuff, but when you have to decide, do I wear it anymore? There really is something that says, this could come back in style. Am I, am I, am I crazy? You're this not, and I know, what, I, know, I know you well enough to know. I can tell you already. What, yes, I can tell we're gonna have a this struggle. This is not gonna be easy no, for you. I'm gonna be tough on you, because I'm all about not getting rid of everything, you holding on to some of it, but there is a line when it is not giving you what you want. I always tell people, I promise you, I will, you will be so happy and thankful that I encouraged you to get rid of enough that it's giving you what you want, that space to breathe, that space that works for you. But every time I go in my closet and pull out, I'm serious. I you, know you, you know are. I'm serious. A shirt from high school that I have not worn in uh, seven years <clears throat> since I graduated high school. And and I'm, <laughs> okay, okay. Is there one of them or is there 30 <laughs> of them? Well, there are 30, exactly. but, but when I find the one that works for this outfit, this, and it's a totally new outfit, and I wear it to work, I feel really good about the fact that I kept that shirt. So that makes it hard to. Right, so you know what, maybe we'll find another category that okay. we can get rid of stuff. We're gonna always search for something. I'm not gonna ever, and I don't do this with my clients, we will find an area that you're comfortable with letting go of. Of, we're not going to get rid of stuff that you feel 
you know, really strongly yeah. attached to, but we do find an area that we can purge. Okay. And you also say to empty out a space entirely so we can just see what the space Yes, you gotta reimagine like. a space. If you don't empty it out, you're just looking at it like, oh, it's good there. Ah, oh, that's fine. When you really empty a space, you're going to get a view of your space in a totally different way. And you get to put it back in a way where this stuff that's most important to you yeah. is front and center. So very quickly, we are gonna start this in January, yeah. but uh, for the folks who are watching now who wanna get a head start, what are some things we should be doing during the holidays to be preparing ourselves for this. It's a good question. Great one, organizing. One, when it comes to holiday stuff, if it's stuff, when you're putting stuff away that you used for decor and all of that kind of stuff, if you have stuff that hasn't been used, mm -hmm. that you left in the bin, think really hard about, can I get rid of that? Has yeah. that had its day? Okay. So you're only putting back the stuff that is current and that you do use. The other thing is, um, it gives you an opportunity to really put things back in an organized way. Set yourself okay. up for success for next year. That is your assignment, people. Happy holidays, good luck, Just low stress. We'll, we'll go through it together. We're gonna do it, we're gonna Organize do it. Organize Detroit, we can find you on Instagram. What's your Instagram handle? At Organize Detroit on um, Instagram and at TikTok. Very good, Ryan.